What's up guys, today I'm going to be going over the entire Vault of Glass raid, the normal mode, and then also the Temple's Edge challenge mode for the first 24 hours, and be going over how to do every encounter, and also the challenge mode for your 24 hour clear and emblem. The first encounter does not have a challenge mode, so you just raise the conflicts by standing in each conflict. There's going to be three of them, one middle, one right, and one left, and obviously you just kill stuff, and that's pretty straightforward. Now the second encounter is you just defend conflexes, but the key to this one for challenge mode is the ultras that will that will spawn in towards the end of each phase. You have to first let them start sacrificing on each conflict before you kill them. So just get them weak. And for this encounter, I was using Blinding GL, so the mixing code, and also Deathbringer with the Callus. Then I was using uh, I Callus SMG for Woman Souls. But as you see, we just get them close, and once they start sacrificing, that is when you kill them, and you just do that for each three rounds. Pretty straightforward the last round has two on each side then for the oracles there's gonna be four rounds of three oracles four oracles six then seven i believe and there's gonna be random spots and in this game you have to kill them in order so that means you have to listen to which one is first second third and that's what we were doing we're coming if you have first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and so on but for the challenge mode you can only shoot each oracle once so if i shoot l3 like i just did I can no longer shoot that one. So what we did, it might not be the best system. I'm sure as you know, this raid gets played more, it'll change. We just rotated clockwise. So I was L3. Then after that, I'm gonna go to R3. And once again, you just kind of listen and look at which one is yours in the order and just remember that. So right here, I'm just listening to which one R3 was and it was the fourth one in the order. So I just wait, my teammates calm one, two, three, then obviously four, I shoot mine. So you have to not only do them in order that they spawn in, and also you can't shoot the same one twice, so we just rotated clockwise after every single round. Now the hardest challenge mode is by far the Templar. Pretty much what you have to do is you can't teleport, which means you pretty much have to one phase. And what we did was the Relic Holder was the one going around blocking the TPs, and pretty much we just brute forced it and tried to nuke the boss as fast as possible and not even go for the Oracles. So all we did was do the first wave of three oracles. And once again, you got to do them in order. So you have to go one, two, three in the order they spawn. Then from there, we just did double slug anarchy and just tried to nuke the Templar as fast as we could. And there will be a second wave of oracles that spawn in, but we just said, screw it. We're just saying nuke the boss. And if we need to, we'll go in the middle and cleanse once the oracles mark us for negation. And honestly, the way we did it is a huge DPS check. If you can pull it off, great. But the challenge is you just can't teleport. So if you want to take it slow and go for oracles, and all that stuff it is pretty complicated to stay alive because there's all kinds of ads all kinds of minotaurs you have to see the order of the three oracles every time so we decided just to ignore the oracles and just kill the templar and that's what we did and i think this is by far the hardest one of the you know five or six encounters so i'll just let the rest of this play out and we'll be back at roughly 340 in the video and get the block i can get the block you have to uh, but kill him. Just fucking kill him, dude. I'm out of shotgun ammo. Oh, fuck. The bubble, dude. I'm gonna get the block here. New well, new well, new well, new well. And I'm marked, gonna I'm die. Glass gonna die. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, I'm dead. New well. Nova bomb, Nova bombed. Let's Mark. go, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Come on. Punch him! Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> And now for the gatekeeper encounter. So in this game, there is a lot of changes to this encounter from D1. So pretty much what happens is you have to take the relic in to the actual portal itself. And the initial relic drops from the gatekeeper. And pretty much you just have one person going left, one person going right. And one side will get a uh, ultra and one side will get minotaur with a shield on it that can only be destroyed by the relic. So depending on which side it is, left or right, Mars or Venus, you have the person with the relic go into that side and break the shield. But for challenge mode, you have to kill the Minotaur and the Ultra at the same time, and you have to sync up both kills, and there is a little bit of leeway, so it's not super tight, but within like five seconds or so. And the main catch is you can only take the relic through a portal once, then you have a debuff that lasts for 45 seconds. So pretty much what happens is you just rotate the relic around. So whenever the relic holder comes in to kill the Minotaur, they then drop it for the player that's already there. And that player comes out with the relic, then hands it to someone that is still outside. Then they go on their side back and forth. So you pretty much just juggle the relic from left to right, right to left, back and forth. But each individual can only take the relic through one portal at a time. So you have to kind of chain it back and forth. And that is why I'm just gonna let the rest of this gameplay for Gatekeeper play, because it is a pretty complicated system. 
but once you kind of get the idea you're just kind of rotating the rogue between each player taking it into the portal giving it to the player that was already there then they come out give it to someone else they go in etc etc and i'm sure the rest of the gameplay will make a little bit more sense than what i'm saying so just watch that and that is pretty much how you do gatekeeper i remember error is too strong too strong Let me know when you're shield. good. Kill it. Okay, keep Kill. Going. Yep. Kill. Here you go, monitor. I can take the relic. Just got it. Let us know when you're good on the uh. I'm on Wyvern. Okay, break the shield dice. Alright, kill, kill Wyvern. Dead. Alright, just taking the shield now. Alright, coming out, and I'm gonna drop it on left side. I'll take it. That's not left. There okay. you go. Or, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Oh, it's solid. That's some lefts are tough. Oh shots, I stunned this guy and he freaking still shooting me. <clears throat> Minutes are a great gatekeeper. Uh, uh, let me know when you guys are ready. Uh, I'm ready whenever. Three, two, one, kill. Uh, you want your other one? Yeah, yeah. Modern, are you taking? Modern. Are you taking modern? I you guys gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. Right, right, right. I'm going over to you now, modern drop. Oh. Yep. Right here. Go right, Ember. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna help with my minute. Yeah, oh, you got the wyvern ready to go? Uh, yeah. Alright, kill it. New conflux. Get okay, out. here we go. Just... And now for Atheon, once again, there's a lot of changes in Destiny 2. That's gonna be pretty similar to the Oracle encounter. So there's gonna be three oracles on the inside of each portal that the players have to destroy. And in normal mode, it doesn't matter who destroys it, but in challenge mode, you can only destroy one each. So that means every single player has to kill one. And pretty much what we did was the player outside, which I'll show that point of view in a second, they will communicate where the three oracles are. So there's close left, far left, close mid, far mid, close right, and far right. So there's only six spots. And they will calm that in order that they appear on the outside for them. And the people inside will have a position one, two, or three. So for example, if you're first, the first word that the person on the inside comms, that is the one you go for. Then obviously if you're two, the second one they say, then the third, the third one they say. And once again, I'm showing this from both point of views from inside the portal, then also outside. I was the one comming the Oracle locations on the outside. And as you'll see, there is like a right, left, and middle, and there's far and back for all three different sides. And that will line up exactly the same way as the portal because the two areas are the exact same layout as when you're standing as I am right now. So pretty much what we did is, as you saw in the first clip, is we went to the bottom of like the stairs where you enter the portals and it pretty much matched up with the callouts that they were saying. So as you saw in the first clip where we were standing to shoot the oracles, if you stand there and look where you came from, where you first got TP'd at, the callouts will match up exactly the same as what the person in the inside is doing. So close left is close left, et cetera, et cetera. So this challenge mode is pretty much the same as normal for the most part, except that you can only do one Oracle each. And as you see for this encounter, I was using Anarchy Sniper, then a Scout Rifle for range because a lot of the enemies you have to kill are from really far away. Then I'd recommend one well or maybe two wells. Then everyone else use Nova Bomb, Nighthawk, Thundercrash, whatever, pretty much the burst DPS super. And you should be able to get off two per DPS phase. Do one at the beginning, then you should get it back at the end. Anyways, that is it for the VOG guide. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Obviously, I've only played it twice myself. So I'm sure as we play the raid more, obviously, there'll be better and better strategies. But that is my day one guide. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. This idiot. Fuck you, Atheon! I'm, I'm holding the thing. I'm holding the thing. Watch for the thing. We got him. We got him. For we sure. We'll GG. We'll GG, boys. GG, boys.
GG's! Oh, claim the triumphs. Claim the triumphs. Mm -hmm. I walk grab, out grab the, the portal and I get suppy, dude. Grab the chest and claim the triumphs. Grab the chest. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.